A special thanks to all those in collaboration with KPP and Art World Outreach and individuals within this ministry for your selfless and heroic efforts in this war against depression. As my goal has, is, and will always be to eliminate suicide. In this episode of Let's Talk Suicide, we're going to be having a deep discussion about depression. someone who is struggling with depression but they are not resembling or showing any signs and on the other hand you have someone who is obviously struggling you know something is going on that's causing them to react this way it's recklessly their eyes are on the road, but their mind is somewhere else. In most cases, um, the individual struggles silently. I read this actually a while back. Strong people always have their life in order. Even with a tear in their eye, they still manage to say, I'm okay with a smile. Of a person who refuses to expose themselves for their vulnerabilities. And they hold this stuff in, it's, and, and it's, it piles up. And it could be something as little as putting too much salt in their food. It can be as little as turning in an assignment late that you'd be surprised, like, gosh, they really, they overreacted. And on the other hand, someone who's acting recklessly, someone who is heavy on drugs, someone who doesn't care or have no care for the rules. But in reality, it's not the drugs and alcohol that is, is the problem something inside of them it speaks but they refuse to listen maybe it's standing up to to bullying maybe it's raising suicide awareness and speaking out to this cause it's that voice that that comes to us and it, it says things like you're, you're capable of changing the world. You're capable of producing amazing results. You're unstoppable. There's nothing you can't do if you put your mind to it. You can finish this race. This voice that we, we oftentimes we ignore because we're too afraid of, of out of the responsibility that it comes with listening to this voice of what others might say, too afraid of our reputation. Drugs and alcohol is not the problem. Trust me, it's not because they are seeking that high. They are trying to suppress something within them that is pulling them into an opposite direction. How far would I go just for a good night's sleep when the voices in my head just won't stop, when the music won't stop playing, when I'm constantly being nagged and tugged at? Depression is our past haunting us. The moment you really sit down to think, okay, what in the hell is going on with me? Why am I so down today? Why am I so gloomy? Why am I so oppressed? Why am I so hurt? Why am I dealing with life in this way? Depression has been burning like a, like a flame in the night. And you have to understand, or you have to take a look, go deeper into your past to uncover when was that match struck? 
And once you understand that, this is what I have to do in order to beat it. My illustrations of myself, the drawings that I do. Have you ever took the time to to do something you've been pushing back for a long time because you thought to yourself, this is going to be a day's worth of work. It's going to be hard. I'm going to need some time to focus, sit down, to think through this strategically. I'm going to need to take some notes. I'm going to need to record my steps in the event I need to revisit this. This isn't going to be an easy task. And you sit down to do it and all of a sudden it's like instinctively understand just every aspect of it. It surely can't be this easy, but it was. It pains me having to tell someone that their family member passed due to self-inflicted wounds. And then going back to think about the person who took their life and solve their problem in mere seconds. When I do things like that, when I, when I literally sit down to solve just what took their life, I know that the, the burden of facing it, it wasn't the problem. It was not the problem. It was the burden of facing that voice that led them to take their life. When life calls out to us, at some point in our life, we have a choice to answer. We have a choice to step up. We have a choice to put on this suit, your artist cap, to put on your smile, to entertain a room full of guests, red nose, and prance around in hopes of bringing joy to kids who are on borrowed time, having been diagnosed with cancer, to stand up against oppression, to fight back against bullying, to push back against the forces of darkness, wherever that may be. When life calls on us, this is who you are. This is what you must do. We are so afraid to answer because we feel in ourselves that we're not, we're not worthy. We've been beaten down so much. We set ourselves up for what we think is, is a soft no. I mean, who better to give you the no than yourself versus someone else? The voice will never, ever stop. It'll never, ever stop. And I think that's what drives most people to take their lives. That voice that's inside of them, it says, you have to do something about this. Use your craft as your voice. Make an impact. Change the world.